This is a spoilers, spoiler review, spoilers. If you're okay with that, if you're curious and you want to know what's going on, spoiler review, Batman v Superman. If you're saying to yourself, don't tell me, man, watch my other video. I've got a spoiler less video. No spoilers. I'm not giving anything away. But this video, we're giving it away. Ready? Give you a few seconds to change your mind. No? Let's go. Batman v Superman was a good movie that had the potential to be a great movie, a phenomenal movie. It should have been. Um, Batman v Superman was missing one major component, uh, which was Batman versus Superman. The movie's two and a half hours long, and Batman fights Superman for like six or seven minutes or some such. And the whole rest of the movie, it's like set up, set up, set up. Oh, a little bit of conversation. Set up for the next movie. Set up for the next movie. Set up for the next movie. Hey, here's just a little bit of action. Set up for the next movie. Oh, hey, there's some names of some people that are going to be in the next one. Yeah. Set up for the next movie. Set up for the next movie. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, Jesse, why don't you act crazy as Luthor? Yeah, because Luthor is kind of like the Joker, right? He is not. Um, Wonder Woman in the movie uh, was in the movie for like 10 or 15 minutes, but she killed it for those 10 or 15 minutes. She was phenomenal. I can't wait for the Wonder Woman movie now. To be completely honest, this movie did what the company... Uh, there's a lot of things that happen in this movie that make me go, hmm. As a comic book collector, as a comic book enthusiast, I'm like, I, I know these characters. I feel like I've met these characters. I feel like I've known them personally because I've read them for decades. I ain't that old. Yes, I am. But for decades, and when they show, there's, there's, there's a point in the movie, there's a part in the movie where the villain has got Lois Lane, and he's got a gun to her head, and he's got his arm around her, and Lois is holding his arm, and he's going to shoot her, he's going to blast her, and Superman's right in front of him. Superman's like, Poof! he lands right in front of him, makes the big, you know, explosion. He wants him to know, you know. <laughs> I'm Superman, dude. It's over. And he's looking at the guy. And the guy's like, I'll kill her. I'll kill her. He says, that's my African accent. I'll kill her. And Superman's looking, and, and he could, because I've read the books, he could have, like, zoom, zapped it, the gun with his heat vision, heated the metal, make the guy drop the gun. He could have zapped it and split the gun in half, which I honestly probably would have killed the guy, but... He could have shot the gun and, you know, you know, Lone Ranger it and shot it out of his hand or something like that. He could have used his super speed because he's faster than a friggin' speeding bullet, right? He could have ran up, grabbed the front of the gun so the nozzle is pointing at his hand and it wouldn't shoot Lois. Or he could, you know, grab the guy's wrist and yank it out of his hand. He's freaking Superman. He raced the Flash. So you expect him to be uber fast. Does he do these things? He does not. Lois, holding the guy's arm, which is around her neck, smiles and lets his arm go like, do the thing that I know you're going to do. Do the thing. The thing you did last week with the other guy that had the knife to my neck. And Superman rushes the dude at like Mark 20 or something like that. And then hits the guy. Pushes him through like three or four walls. There's no way he survived that. He's dead. <sighs> what was up with that? Then 
something else you, you should probably know, and again, this is a spoiler, so be ready. Batman has this moral code where he won't use a gun because guns killed his family. And he has a moral code that says he won't kill because his family was killed. He'll beat the glue out of you and he'll break an arm or a leg or whatever. But he didn't kill people. That was his thing. But this Batman, the Ben Affleck Batman, the Baffleck, oh, he kills. If you're tripping and you're in Gotham, yeah, yeah, you might die. Batman in a dream is using a gun. He's killing people. He's beating them with the gun. It looked real cool. I will admit that. It was really cool. But it didn't seem like something he would do. Then, in real life, not in a dream, Batman's like, you know, oh, I'll save your mother. And he's going to save... I don't know how, how deep into the spoilers I want to go. He's going to save someone's mother. And he's like, she won't die tonight. You know, it's like, not on my watch, man. And Batman, that scene that we see in the commercial where he, like, jumps through. Oh, I'll put you on the second floor, sir. And Alfred, you know, uses the Batwing to throw him into the building. And he's fighting all of those antagonists. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really tell in the commercial. But they died. He killed, if there was anybody that didn't die, then they're never going to walk right again because he, there's a scene where he's driving the Batmobile and he hooks a truck and he's driving and the truck is bouncing behind him and he's yanking the truck and he swerves to flip the truck to hit the truck that's carrying dudes that he's chasing. So he didn't really want to catch him. He's looking to kill these guys. And he's driving and he's like, boom, and the truck goes. And there's like in the back of the truck, there's a guy shooting. Duh, 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 duh. And the truck tears off like most of the top of the other truck. So you know that guy's dead. One guy takes a grenade and he throws it at Batman. And Batman smacks it back and it closes. <laughs> he, he, he throws his grenade back at the dude and he closes the door and the dude's in there with the grenade and it's like boom and I'm like that's when it really hit me that he was killing folks because I'm like you know what I'm like whoa maybe that guy in the truck ducked man and maybe the dude who he slammed head through the floor maybe that dude has just gotten you know a, a bad headache or something but he blew a guy up there's, you know, there's no coming back from that. That's, there's no coming back from that. But it was a good movie. Again, it was a good movie. Justice Leaguers, they mentioned three of them. There are possibly going to be more, but they mentioned three of them. And they do like a throwback to the X-Men. When the X-Men wanted to mention um, other mutants and Rogue is typing and she's looking through the files and she finds like, you know, Gambit and I guess the Beast or whoever else was in there and she's looking at that on a computer screen That's essentially the way that they do it and introduce the other ones. There's like a file and it's got like um, symbols for each Metahuman each superhero and you click it and it gives you a little brief Synapsis of who they are the flash was kind of cool, you know his his little tidbit was kind of cool and uh, cyborgs was kind of cool you know he's he's half part of a man he's like oh and they're trying to put him together it, they show that the origin of him and then um aquaman who a lot of people didn't dig the aquaman scene but i i liked it i liked aquaman i thought it was i thought it was cool he's in the in a tanker underwater and someone is like coming for him there's like showing cameras and they're getting close to him and there's a hole in the tanker and they're looking in the hole and in the darkness you see bing, bing, you see two lighted lit up eyes so you're like oh that's aquaman it's underwater it's got to be aquaman and then slowly he's like and he gets closer it's a little spooky because he's got no underwater breathing apparatus if i saw that i'd freak out but he's getting closer and his hair is like all in his face and it's moving around in the water 
and he looks at him and then he takes his like his trident and he's like checking him out like he's like I should stab you in a freaking face but of course you know he doesn't and then he like boom swims away big explosion underwater when he takes off you know the uh, it's like he's breaking the the um, sound barrier but it's underwater I don't know if you can do that underwater but they did it in the movie and it was cool so yeah you know why'd they do it Aquaman that's why um, Jesse Eisenberg is uh, Lex Luthor. The thing he did that made me say this guy might be a good villain and it wasn't really a villainous thing he's talking to this government official and he wants him to um, I guess to, to, to make him understand that he's in control he unwraps a piece of candy right it's the candy scene man and he takes it and he holds it up and he's like hmm 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 and the guy's like and then he says it's strawberry and then he pushes it into the guy's mouth slowly and then he's like like he was saying you're gonna take the candy take the candy anime take the candy and you're gonna love it Holly Hunter plays Senator Finch she is great at that she's probably the best actor actress in the movie um, Tao Takamo I'm gonna say that wrong plays um, Mercy and Mercy's in a building that blows up and Lex Luthor sent her in there so I'm thinking did he did he try to kill her because in the comic book she's a she's an android so maybe he sent her in there because he knew she wasn't going to die because she's an android or maybe she did something that we don't know about watching the film and he killed her and later he makes the android duplicate of her they didn't go into detail with that there's a lot of things that they didn't go into detail about there's a lot of loose and the big the big fight really wasn't superman batman the big fight was actually which was great because superman got beat down um I mean, he got a couple shots in, but honestly, if Batman can prep for a fight, you're probably going to get your butt handed to you. And Superman didn't really want to fight, and Batman really, really wanted to kill Superman. And he planned it that, like the night before. He's planting stuff. They show him putting stuff here and putting stuff there, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm going to use that." And I got, I got a gun with kryptonite gas, man. And he's prepared for Superman. Superman's not prepared. He really doesn't want to fight. And he's there because he's being forced to fight Batman. So Bats, Bats gives him gives him the business. Batman kills a lot of people. And that was, I mean, it was cool to watch, but, you know, it's Batman. He's not supposed to be killing people. Um, the best Batman scene to me was, you know, the fight scene, of course, because he just, like, ran through 20 or so guys. But when they originally show Batman, he's up in a corner. And he's looking down at this cop. And they're in the dark building and the cop doesn't see him at first. And then he kind of flashes the light over and he sees him in the corner. And Batman scurries like, you know, like one of the horror demon movies. He scurries across the wall and goes into a hole. The dude is cocking his gun and he's shooting and he's shooting. And he turns because he sees movement and he shoots again. And almost shoots his partner in the face. He's so scared. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. But I'd say for the entire movie, I spent... 80% of it, like, but then they had a little action, and it was good. So, Batman v Superman, if you like the video, as always, subscribe, and hit the likes, or don't. Popcorn, ass boy. Get your popcorn back.